Good afternoon, everybody. Tehachapi Loop in Illinois here. We are going to try and do a segment on weathering from start to finish. Uh, we're starting out with this Atherm Genesis 50 foot double door box car uh, painted in the Evergreen Freight Car Corporation or EFCX paint scheme. Uh, as you can see, it's a, a very bright car. Uh, when delivered in 1969, uh, it must have looked, uh, you know, pretty sharp out there in consists, but obviously by the 80s, uh, as these cars uh, weathered uh, and ran on uh, the line that I depict, uh, they look much different. And so what we want to do first is do some research on this car. Um, when you go to the internet, uh, I found a a car, not quite the same number. This is the 3260 as opposed to the 3329, but very similar car. Uh, and you'll see uh, a lot of uh, grime, mostly more kind of in the grays and black grimes versus the, the dusty grime on this car. Um, you can see uh, some of the specifics. The reporting marks uh, have been at least masked over at one point, maybe remarked. Uh, or have kept cleaner, so we're going to do that effect. And then as you can see, mostly kind of vertical, uh, you know, streaks of grime versus kind of splotchy. So we're going to try and catch that. And then uh, kind of the normal rust along the edges of the doors and the door sliders on the side of the car. And then uh, you can see kind of some regular dirt grime, especially down by the trucks and the running, uh, kind of the lower running areas of the car. So uh, that is what we're going to try and do. We are going to uh, go through a multi-step process here. First, applying uh, dull coat, painting the wheels, and then getting the car ready for weathering powders. And then uh, the last round uh, of putting some acrylic rust in certain areas, reapplying a dull coat to lock in all of the effects and then uh, going from there. So again, a nice, uh, a nice look here of what this car starts like and uh, certainly will look different at the end, but much more appropriate for the Air Eye model. 